Hey guys, welcome to another lunchtime review. Today I'm going to try this Sam's hot dog stand. It's a milkshakes, barbecue, chili dogs, and Polish sausage. Um, I know what I'm going to order. I'll tell you when I get back what I'm going to what I got. But uh, um, I'm going to go in and order it and um, be back in just a second. Okay, I walked up to the door and it actually said drive-through only, which I thought they had a drive-through, but it was something I didn't really want to. I didn't want to fool with it. <laughs> the drive-through. So, uh, but you have to go all the way around the building to get to it. On the website, it said um, no dine-in, but it did say drive-through and pickup. So I thought maybe you could just go up to the door and order. So I don't know. Who knows? But I'll take you with me one way or the other. I don't think this is a drive-through with like a uh, an ordering speaker and stuff. I think you just walk drive up to the window and tell them what you want. How you doing? Um, well, I got it written down. Um, I want one of your Rubinators and you don't, um, do you got the Huntington Chester? Yeah, I want one of those then. Uh, do you have something else with like a Polish sausage? Uh, yeah, but we still have Polish sausage. You can just add any toppings that you want to and start over. I mean, we still have kraut and everything. Um, Yeah, give me a post sausage with sauerkraut, and um, I don't remember what else was on there. Yeah, dude, I've got it written down. <laughs> Did you just want to maybe add kind of kraut, mustard, and onions, anything like that? Or? Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Yeah, that would be good. Just those two. All right. Right back to you, Okay, thank you. All right, that comes to the Oh, okay. Thank you very much. Would you like a copy of your receipt, sir? Um, yes, please. That's fine. Thank you. Thank you very much. You too. Nice. That did take a little while. Um, it, was, it took like eight minutes to uh, get it, but we'll see. Um, I thought about parking over here, but I wonder if that sun's going to be too much. Let me see. Let's see what I feel like. Yeah, I think that's okay. I'll be I'll be well lit like a little angel. So I'll be uh, I'll be right back. All right, so here they are. This is the polar sausage with uh, slaw, mustard, and onions. I think he said. And then this one is the um, Huntington Chester. Um, it has uh, beer cheese. The, it's a hot dog on, on a piece of bread, basically. It looks like Texas toast um, with slaw and bacon. And so I'll tell you for sure what's on it when, when I get the, I got a piece of paper with it written down. So anyway, the polar sausage is really big. So I'm going to uh, turn around and tell you the prices and stuff, and I'll be right back. All right, so I can tell you the Huntington Chester was, um, it was $3.99. It's a, yeah, $3.99 for, it's a specialty dog. And it has, um, it's a buttery English bun, which looked like a piece of cheap, uh, bread to me. Um, beer cheese coleslaw with bacon. That's what that was. The other one, like I said, is a Polish sausage. If you get a Polish dog, basically, it's 401. So my total was um, 888, uh, 50 cents um, service charge. I'm assuming that's tax. Um, yeah, that would be tax. So my sub my total with tax and everything was nine dollars and thirty eight cents. Seems a little high for two hot dogs. Uh, I mean a hot dog and a polar sausage, but you know whatever. So I'm gonna try the hot dog first. I do have to say it looks pretty good. And he said the the bread's toasted, but you can see it's a toasted piece of bread, and it does look like I don't know if that's a, a I don't know if it's a piece of bread or actually it looks like a piece of bread. There we go. Keep dropping my napkin. Um, the flavor of their hot dog is actually really good. Um, the beer cheese has some spice to it, so which is a good thing. Beer cheese is like a a Winchester, which is where I'm at, Winchester, Kentucky thing. Um, it's a spicy, um, creamy cheese, basically a cheese spread. So you can put it on cheeseburgers, dip it in crackers, whatever. Uh, on a hot dog, I've never tried it on a hot dog, so I like the flavor of that. I like the slaw. I really didn't get a lot of bacon, but I don't think I got one piece. Hold on. Hmm. 
that's good. I like that. I would get, I would get two of those with no problem at all. Um, they had a special where it's a, it's a Winchester um, special that has beer cheese and stuff on it. Um, you could get that too. I like that. I do like the spice in there too because that beer cheese, whatever the beer cheese they're using, they didn't say what brand they're using because there's a hundred different brands. But um, whatever brand they're using has some spice to it. The quality of the hot dog's really good too. It's got a little bit of snap to it, which is you know what you're looking for. And I really like the flavor of their slaw as well. So this one is the Polish. It looks like it has um, onion. I mean um, um, sauerkraut. I'm trying to think of the word sauerkraut and um, mustard. And he said he put onions in here too. But I don't necessarily see onions, but it may blend in with the sauerkraut. So anyway. I like the flavor of the Polish sausage. The sauerkraut is good. It's not overpowering. It's got a good flavor to it. And um, he, gives you, he gave me plenty of it, that's for sure. Um, that's good. I, I think I would have liked the um, the, the Rubington or whatever whatever it was. Um, I think I would have liked it better because it had some other thing. It had like a thousand island dressing and stuff on it. But this is good. It's good for a Polish sausage dog with uh, sauerkraut. If you like that, I think you'd like it. Um, the last time I had a Polish sausage like this was probably at Disney in Germany at Epcot. I, we had some Polish sausages were like that, or sausages. Um, this one kind of reminds me of that a little bit. Um, but I think it's pretty good. It's got a good texture to it. It's got a good flavor to it. You would not be able to eat those while driving, though. Just to <laughs> let you know. Um, I think these are both good. I think as a restaurant themselves, um, they seem to be uh, good quality food. Um, they're a little slow, but they're hand making each one of them, so I don't think that's bad. And they did toast the bread and stuff like that. So, and they're good and fresh and warm. The bun is good and, and soft, and everything. The hot dogs themselves and the pork sausage are also good and hot. Um, which, like we used to get these um, chili footlongs at Dairy Queen, and the hot dogs were never warm. It was like the chili warmed the warm the hot dogs. The hot dogs was like they pulled them out of the refrigerator sometimes. So. Um, these are good and warm. I like the flavors of both of them. It's not quite a five level restaurant. I do think they're a little overpriced for what they are, but um, that being said, I'm still gonna give them a four out of five. I do think they're really, really good. So if you have one in your area, they're kind of in Kentucky, West Virginia, Virginia. I saw a location in, in North Carolina. Um, that was pretty much the area that they were in. So if you have one in your area, you'll have to let us know if you've ever been there and what's your favorite uh, version that you get, what flavor you get. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.